At the office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, we are proud to bring you Education Matters in partnership with EECU, Fresno State, and Chevron. Thank you for watching positive stories about education. Eighty-four percent of en engineers in this country are men, showing that there is still much work to be done to increase the number of women in the profession. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson reports on how events like STEM for Girls is slowly changing the statistics. It's still there. <laughs> the excitement when you know you got it right. <laughs> The satisfaction that comes from trying and mastering something new. These are the experiences educators want for students attending the STEM for Girls conference. The biggest thing is just to motivate them and give them hope and, and give them the idea that they need to dream big. There is so many opportunities out there. Erica Toussaint, an area operations manager for Chevron, was the keynote speaker at this year's event. She's from the Central Valley from a farm worker family, a graduate of Stanford. If someone with my background, with a dad that only went to eighth grade, uh, not knowing much about colleges or STEM can thrive in a STEM career, then I want them to know that they can do it as well. Over 300 girls from Fresno County Schools spent a Saturday at Fresno Pacific University participating in hands-on science activities. In this case, rocket science. After all, these students are of the generation that could go to Mars. Let's go! Students were exposed to Cal Poly's Femineer program, focused on getting girls interested in engineering. As they explored circuitry, you could see connections being made. Once they put that circuit together and the LED lights up, and they're like, whoa, so excited. Um, and then just building on those skills from there. And for the first time, young girls were introduced to welding. Female students from SeaTac High School were excited to teach what they know. There you go. There you go. Using VR helmets, students were able to practice welding in virtual reality. The young women teaching them have already mastered the skill. They want young girls to know there is a place for them in male-dominated careers. We're an example for them in a way, or we're doing our best to be, um, to show them that this is possible, that they can do this, and that we're the example of having done this before. So I hope that we can be sort of an inspiration to them. For Education Matters, I'm Juanita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters.